morning it's Nigel here today we're going to be walking on one of the Sussex Wildlife Trust um, areas at Morning Down which is um, just as you come out out of Lewis heading off towards Uckfield you can uh, access it up uh, uh, Mill Road um, which is the road right opposite the turning to the Sussex Police Headquarters um, so this is where we're going to be walking from today just a short walk to where I normally do my bird photography uh, which is what this is primarily about. However, um, just thought you'd like to join me this morning and see what I get up to. Well, today we're uh, standing on the Sugar Lump on the South Downs. Um, came up yesterday, lovely views. This morning I'm a bit earlier and it's uh, a little bit misty. Um, but uh, uh, that said, it's beautiful, absolutely stunning. Uh, makes you wonder why people want to go away from Sussex. So if I pan round again now, you can see it's, it is a little bit misty this morning. But nevertheless, as I just said, it's absolutely stunning view from up here. Um, been up here a few times over the years doing sunsets and sunrises, photo photography. So um, yeah, it's good, great, love it. Bring the dog up sometimes, but this is my time. Me time as I call it. But uh, I'll catch up with you again a bit later. Well, I couldn't resist but show you the uh, images I took yesterday morning. Um, it was crystal clear, as you can see. Lovely. So we're going to be travelling along this path now for a little while. Um, it's an old sheep trail by the looks of it. Uh, so I'm going to wash my feet now. So. I'm Anyway, let's go. So, yeah, I come up here. It's a great way to unwind, forget about COVID and all the crap that goes with it. Excuse my French. But uh, like many of us, it's all about enough of it now. It's taken me a while to even sort of get used to coming out, to be honest, but um, that's just me, I guess. But, uh, anyway, this is the, the path. Um, I'm up doing some bird photography today. So uh, hopefully at the end of this I'll, I'll put some of the images on that I've got and um, see what you think. But, uh, have a good day. But I'm saying that, I'll probably talk to you again shortly. So bye for now. I just stopped here for a minute uh, just to tell you a little story. <clears throat> Came up on the weekend before last actually with my grandson. Um, and granddad who's knocking on 60 <laughs> He's not old, but getting there. Um, decided he was going to do something remarkably silly. And uh, halfway up, sort of regretted it. But anyway, where I took that video a few minutes ago, um, this is the base of the hill. You can see now. Um, probably done not too steep on this, but it sure was. Uh, and I decided to climb to the top rather than go the long way round. Uh, and I have to say, when I got to the top, I think I must have had about three heart attacks on the way up and another one when I got to the top. But uh, as I say, the view, as you saw, is from up there is uh, absolutely stunning. So uh, anyway, let's get on. Right, these are a few pictures that I've taken up here this morning and also um, recently. I come up here a lot, so there's quite a few. This is a little chiff chaff. Pretty birds. There's another one. So they're very quick as well to photograph sometimes, although not so bad when they're sitting down perched. This is next picture is one of my favourite birds, and that's the little wren. Amazing little birds, it's got a very loud singing voice for the size of the bird. And this is a little chaffinch. Very pretty birds, lovely coloured breasts. There's another chaffinch. And then coming up next we've got uh, a little kestrel. Obviously hunting at the moment, eyes fixed firmly on the ground. Amazing eyesight. Now it's another little kestrel. If 
fascinating things to watch when they're hunting. And then this is a kestrel, actually, as you can see, hovering not far off the ground, this one. You see a common buzzard, which are really common now in most parts of the UK. Huge wingspan, massive great birds, but uh, not phased by uh, crows who are happy to have a go. This is a little wren again. And so this is undoubtedly one of my favourite birds to photograph, but again, really quick. You have to catch them quick before they disappear. A uh, couple of blue tits. A lot of activity going on with the birds at the moment with uh, gathering nesting material. This is a little dunnock. Dunnocks are very similar to house sparrows. In fact, it's the same family. Um, but if you look at the two close together, they are quite substantially different in many ways. This is a little jay. Jays are really noisy birds, very pretty, but very noisy. A bit like magpies, they squawk a lot. This is a song crush. Song crushes are amazing singers for obvious reasons, they're beautiful things to listen to. This is a not very old robin, I don't think, um, having a bit of a pruning session, preening session, shall I say. Um, yeah, I don't think this one's very old at all, it's still... And this one's obviously having a scream up about something like that. Seriously though, the robin's singing voice is amazing, they love trilling. In fact, I could listen to them all day. And this is another robin. So they're very popular at the moment, really loads and loads of them. This is another song crush. This is a long tailed tit. They're cute, very small birds. Again, quick. They don't seem to stay in one place very long, so you have to be quite quick to get the picture even if they're stationary. This is a jay again, a jay in flight. I say they are pretty birds, but uh, very noisy. This is a great tit. They've got that black hood on rather than the blue tit that's got the blue bit on the top of the head. So they're prolifically finding um, nesting material at the moment, all of them. And this is a female blackbird. Obviously, again, as I say, they, everyone seems to be gathering bits for their nest at the moment, and she's certainly got a mouthful there. Well, that's it from me today. Thank you very much for joining me on this walk, and I look forward to seeing you all again soon. Have a great day. Bye.